What's going on you guys? This is Ryan back again with another video and today we actually have a really good idea for a head-to-head -head season series. Now I actually asked you guys a question, what should I do with my team? And it wasn't very long ago, it was after I got rid of my 99 overall team. I had a bunch of, you know, sparkle cards and ultimate legends and stuff like that. And you guys, um, for the most part, you all came up with some really good ideas, but there's a couple people in there and it even had the top comment. Someone said, open up a certain amount of packs and then use those cards that you get out of packs on your team. Now, I'm actually going to use that and then branch it off into a different sort of idea, which is pretty much the same thing, just adding on features. So I'm going to open up 10 packs right now. Out of those 10 packs, no matter what I get, it doesn't matter if it's Manti Teo, I have to use it on my team. Now, out of the 10 packs, let's say I get a Manti Teo and then I get a Navarro Bowman. Um, I, I can choose a Navarro Bowman over the Manti Teo, but of course Manti Teo will be used for depth. So um, you're gonna say out of 10 packs, am I gonna open up enough cards to fill out my roster? That's a big uh, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use silver cards or bronze cards or you know uh, Anything that's really really super low overall that would basically mean I pull that out of a pack anyways And then those will eventually get replaced after every win I get so if, once I win a game Against the user I get to open up one more pack. So for every win I get I get to open up a pack um, for losses, I haven't really decided anything on that. I don't think we're going to do anything for losses because taking away cards on my team is not going to help. Um, but we will, after every win, open up one pack and try to upgrade the team. And then if I win the Super Bowl somehow, I open up three packs. So for every win, even in the playoffs, if I get a win, open up one pack. Super Bowl, we get to open up three packs and then continue to upgrade the team that way. And then if you guys have any other comments that you would like to leave in this video for any other suggestions that I should do, um, if you have something that would be okay for if I lose a game, then let me know in the comments below what I should do for that. And then uh, if you have any other ideas on how I should upgrade my team uh, with opening up the packs or maybe even buying a card off the auction block, some whatever good ideas you guys come up with, let me know. And then if I like it, I may implement it into the series. So we're going to go ahead and get this started off. We have 78 grand. Uh, and it's gonna take 75 to open up 10 packs. We might as well get this started now and uh, Usually when you open up packs, you're opening up the packs for you know promo cards and stuff like that And you get the Manti tail pack and you're like well, whatever it doesn't matter I'll just open up another one now it adds on pressure because it's like oh no I don't want to get that pack. I don't want to get that garbage card So let's see who the very first card is that's gonna be on our team and let's hope it's an actual player to see uh, where this series takes off and how it starts off. So here we go. All right, so we're actually going to be doing head coaches as well and offensive and defensive playbooks. I actually did not mention that. So Tom Coughlin right now is our head coach. I'll write that down in my notepad. So Tom Coughlin. All right. And we pair him up with MetLife Stadium. So go ahead and put the stadium as a MetLife Giants. All right. <clears throat> Rodney McLeod, bronze free safety. So we will go ahead and throw him up there. And I know this is not like an interactive thing on screen. I may be able to implement something like that, but I'll try to do this as fast as I can. Uh, Kansas City offensive playbook. Uh, I will show you the final team after I'm all done with this anyway. So just bear with me. Kansas City for offensive playbook. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, top 100 is our tight end. Rob Gronk top 100 uh we get the san francisco 49ers home uniform so san francisco 49ers henry hynoski is our gold card and our fullback so henry hynoski <clears throat> Keyshawn martin actually went a little bit too quick Keyshawn martin and Corey irvin so Keyshawn martin is our number one receiver as of now and Corey Irvin is our defensive tackle number one as of now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, add some of the players to the team. And the coaches and the stadium and the playbook. And we'll put the rest in the reserves. I forgot to add the uniform. I'm going to try to make that go a little bit quicker. I know that was kind of a, uh, a long pack, but like I said, I have to type all this out, so... Now that we got another stadium, that is a useless card. So we'll just go ahead and quick sell it. Richard Gordon is our tight end number two. 
Richard Gordon. All right, and he is behind Rob Gronkowski. Chris Gibbons, receiver number two. Chris Gibbons. Rex Ryan, head coach. We do not need another head coach. Matt Ryan, top 100 is our quarterback as of now. Our away uniform is the New England Patriots, so those are our uniforms as of now. We may switch that for every season, but as of right now, we're going to rock with the San Francisco 49ers home and the New England Patriots away. <clears throat> our defensive playbook is Tampa Bay. Never used that before. Uh, wide receiver number one now is Brandon LaFell, and that is our gold card. All right, Brandon LaFell. Jeremy Clare is our right guard. Jeremy Clare. All right. And we'll go ahead and add these new cards to our actives. And add the uniform and the playbook. Okay, guys. So starting off pretty, I guess, okay. I mean, our top two gold cards so far, Henry Hynoski and Brandon LaFell. Probably could have gotten something better than that. Um... But I'm optimistic. I'm op optimistic. I couldn't say that word for some reason about getting some good players. So here we go. Brandon McKinney. That's what I'm talking about. I love. I love me some Brandon McKinney. Looks like a big teddy bear. Brandon McKinney. All right. Actually, he has a Y in his name. All right, Brandon McKinney. We do not need an offensive playbook. Brandon Marshall, top 100, is our wide receiver number two now. Brandon Marshall top 100 Mike Breezel actually replaces Jeremy Clary as our right guard so uh, we may see Clary playing left guard if we do not get one in the pack so it's not over for him as of yet <laughs> but Mike Breezel is our starting right guard Bill's uniform we're not going to be using that Tim Jamison is our left end as of now all right excited about this dog pound collectible and Bryce Brown we got our first running back, Bryce Brown. Brown. Bronze. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and it's going to come to a point where I can't add any more cards to my active, so I'm going to have to get some out of my reserves. But I for sure will come up with 75, or what is it, 55? Yeah, 55 players to, uh, to go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to go ahead and quick sell the rest of this stuff and put the collectible in reserves. All right, next pack here. We'll go ahead and reveal all. Maybe that'll be a little bit quicker. Uh, Curtis Lofton is our middle linebacker. I haven't looked at anything else in the pack yet, so I'm sure you guys are seeing it. Curtis Lofton, Sean Jerome, or however the heck you say his name. Sean Jerome, 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 whatever, is our backup running back. Uh, Armand Smith, I will put him there as well. Just saying that he was in there as our third running back. Mario Williams, that replaces Tim Jamison. So Mario Williams, top 100. And Alan Ball is our first cornerback that we get. All right. Alan Ball. All right, so this is shaping up pretty nicely so far. We filled up... A decent amount of the roster so far. Uh, probably going to be tough to get offensive linemen, but we're going to have to use, um, you know, bronzes and silvers and stuff like that. And I think I'll limit myself to, like, um, maybe 10 silvers and then fill the rest up with bronze just to give myself a little bit less of an advantage. Um, this video might be really long, so just bear with me. I'm trying to do this as, as accurately as possible. So, uh, Pernell McPhee is our left outside linebacker. So, Pernell McPhee. Next, we have Max Unger, starting center. Max Unger, top 100. All right. Derek Wolf. We have now three left ends, so obviously one of these guys is going to have to play left end, or right end, so we will put Derek Wolf here. Let's we'll put him at left right now. We may get ourselves another one here in the near future. Uh, Joe Howley. We already have Max Unger top 100, but now we add Joe Howley to the mix. Bernard P 
Pollard, final edition, is our strong safety. And guys, I probably could not be happier. I really, really, really wanted to play with this card. And honestly, I, I kind of feel like freaking out right now, but it's pretty late. And I know it's kind of, it's not like a good card, you know? It's probably only going for like 9k. But that's my boy right there. I love me some Bernard Pollard. I'm, I'm pretty geeked out right now that I get to play with him in this, uh, in this little series that I'm doing. So Bernard Pollard Elite. That makes me really happy, guys. That's one of my favorite players in the NFL, and I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, and then we finish it out with a cover boat, Alfred Morris, and a couple of things that we cannot use. All right, guys, while editing this actual video, it was like 20 minutes long. I had to chop it up into two parts. So right now, uh, you just watched the first five packs of my Pack and Play series. And yes, it does have a name, Pack and Play. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool name, pretty catchy. Uh, I think they use it in FIFA. Uh, so this is part one. Part two will pick up right where this one left off. And then the next video will be the lineup update with the very first gameplay of our brand new team. So definitely be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, peace.